Hello, YouTube. Uh, we're back here doing some network testing. Uh, I'm here on the National Mall. As you can see, the Capitol is off in the distance. And the reason why we're here is because there's an inauguration coming up and there's gonna be a lot of people that's gonna be camping out here on the mall to be able to see the new president. And I wanted to come over here and take a look because AT&T did something new. And that newness is a temporary site that they have put in at this location. This is not the first time they've done this. I say for the last four or five times I've been, I've, I've been at inauguration on near it since I've been in the DC area. They've done this a couple of times and this is my first time really getting a chance to check it out. So those are the radio units. I say the bass bands are inside of that cabinet there. Generators. They have another site further down the mall on the opposite side there. But we want to see what the network looked like here at this location. I don't think they have it fired up just yet, but it'll be interesting to find out what the performance looks like before they kick off. So just to give you an idea where I am, let's turn that sideways. As you can see, this is where we're sitting. United States Capitol is right there. We are, I would say, a third of a mile out from the Capitol. And there's a cell, they put a temporary cell site right here. And then normally it's the whole span of the mall where everybody's gonna end up congregating it. So, Let's see what this looks like. All right, as we can see, Verizon's on the right, AT&T is on the left, T-Mobile is dead center. So, what we'll be working with, band 66, 10 megahertz, and what's the RSRP? Uh, negative 86, so the site is not active, but we're getting negative 86, so that means they have coverage. They just don't probably don't have enough coverage, enough capacity for the coverage. T-Mobile is on N71. That's different. Negative 80 on N71. I've never seen N71. Oh, now it's fluctuating between N71 and N41. I haven't seen them use N71 unless the coverage here is bad, but. I don't see why it would be. And Verizon is giving us band 66 or N band two. They're fluctuating along with N77 and another carrier of N77. So let's see what we get. Speed test. Speed test. Speed test. Oh, we're not getting any juice on T Mobile. Wait a second. getting a couple of kilobits per second on T-Mobile. We're not getting anything for AT&T yet. Nope, there we go. So I did run through here a couple of times while I was watching them set this up. And 
I would say about a thousand feet back, you get like 400 megabits per second. So that means that the, the building that I'm in between on the mall is blocking the signal for the capacity for this spot, which is probably why they're put brought in the AT&T on uh, temporary site to fill in this gap. So the site is warranted, but T-Mobile really needs something here. T-Mobile really needs something here because this is abysmal for them. Um, what is it? 0.5 kilobits down and 0 0.06 up. Here, let me get that straightened out. Get that straightened back out again. So T-Mobile is suffering at this location. Oh, this is my first time seeing this in a while. Um, let's see what the other speed test app says. Hey, no preferential treatment. If you suck, you suck. So. Here we go. T-Mobile, this is my first time seeing T-Mobile look bad currently. Verizon is looking like an all-star right now. N77, negative 90, ne negative 99 on C-band. So they're within their operating parameters and they're they're shining. This is shining for them right now. 519 down. Anything else? Ooh, band 13, second carrier, and band two, first carrier. AT&T is giving us 37 down and 22 up. And T-Mobile is not able to finish the test at this location. That's not good for them because when the mall fills up with people, anybody who's on T-Mobile that's gonna be coming to see the new president is gonna have a very bad experience. So, since we're already seeing the failure of T-Mobile, let's compound that a little bit and see what we're getting video wise because we have to do it for all of them not one fast 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 here we go verizon is giving us the beans 470 megabits per second t-mobile is the only giving us kilobits right along with AT&T. But at least AT&T knows they have a problem here. T-Mobile is acting like they don't know they have a problem here. Could it be a coverage problem? I don't know. I mean, the fact that it was switching back and forth between band uh, N25 uh, and N71 would say that they can get juice here but they're not really providing it from the looks of it. Uh, AT&T, 11 megabits uh, per second and T-Mobile, 3.5 megs. All right. We're not pulling punches, so Verizon is running away with it right now. All right, so let's get them all on the same server. I'm looking for New York. If 
fat finger problems. T-Mobile is performing terribly right now. It's not gonna let me. All right, here we go. As you can see, Verizon's run away with it. AT&T has coverage, but they need capacity here, which is why they probably brought this temporary site in. They're gonna have a lot of people sitting up on the mall, you know, waving their flags, trying to bring, wanting to bring in the new administration. So, um, you gotta have coverage on the mall, and this is the best way to do it. So, Putting in a temporary sales site, I guess that's what uh, AT and T's always been doing. The time, the latency time on the browsing is very high for AT and T. Verizon is running away with it, and T Mobile obviously cannot complete um, the test. AT&T is, is trying. Seven twenty p and Verizon will be completing the ten eighty p. All right, so Verizon's done. AT&T is still chugging along. So while we're waiting for AT&T, um, four twenty nine down, eighty four up, thirty two millisecond ping. Browsing and streaming is good. T-Mobile gives us nothing, absolutely nothing. So this location, if you end up being on the mall on um, January 20th, then, you know, this location might be kind of bad for T-Mobile. And AT&T will probably have a lot more capacity here and network throughput, but right now it's not really showing through. See, as you can see, the browsing was bad. Streaming is decent. 47, millis uh, 47 megabits down, 28 up, and 38 millisecond ping. So, Verizon has already killed everybody, but let's go ahead and put the death nail into the coffin. Uh, pub G. PUBG, 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 install. All right. They're not even letting me try to install it on T-Mobile. So three, two, one, go. Verizon, 4%. AT&T, 1%. T-Mobile, no percent. Oh, now it's letting me. Better late than never. 43%, 6%, no percent. Eighty-six percent, eleven percent, zero percent. Right now is pending, and Verizon has finished. AT and T is at seventeen percent, and T Mobile is at zero percent still. So, with that being said, uh, if you're on Verizon and you're on the mall, when the inauguration happens, you're going to be golden. Right now, that's pretty much what it's showing. Um, AT&T has a temporary site here. So they are gonna have some capacity from what I could tell, but T-Mobile is the one that is gonna look like it's gonna struggle. Even though the network 
RF doesn't show struggle, they are struggling. That is a very weird thing. So from what, what we can tell, they might not have enough juice in the pipeline for this location, but I'll come back and check again. I try to see if I can get over here again before the inauguration start starts and check this location out one more time. But thank y'all for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think. Hey, did T-Mobile drop the ball or is, the, is it a networking issue on their part? Verizon obviously has it covered and AT&T is getting it covered. Thank y'all for watching and y'all have a good one.